Demetria McClinton. He had mentioned that his brother watches the show all the time and he's like 32. So I just made a joke. I'm like, oh, well, how old are you, 28? And then the young girl says, no, that's old. Aren't you 28? And to see we all have on gray today. That's right. I guess because we knew it was going to rain. It's all about greed, corruption, and proof. Now, they said they will vote later on, maybe in November, for that election. And city school board members voted, and their vote was for Tim Wilder. Watch the doors. He paced the floors. Reminds me, me of you when you're trying to get in the studio. You lost your What? <laughs> Pan on the window. I remind you of a dog. Is that what you're trying no, to say, no. Chris? <laughs> Chris Havley has a look at your forecast. Hey, Chris. After the debate, I yeah. received so many text messages from a lot of my friends just yeah. asking me if I thought that he was cute. Out of this drain are blankets and sheets, and we're not currently sure if that was placed there by investigators when they were trying to rescue the toddler or if that was placed there by the mother. That hormone replacement therapy right after menopause could help a woman's heart. They found taking hormones for 10 years. That's community. Now, it's kind of calm down now things that he brought up he asked everyone um how do we attract more jobs to our country uh, what do you think that answer is how could we do that they say they want to sponsor the event is there still time for them to get involved as well alabama gifts day is a virtual online fundraiser for people to go online and to donate to their favorite charities the top surgeries for males 18 and younger are nose jobs now, I guess it's substitute day here at the station because in for Matt Harris is Paul Stockman. So we had a famous visitor that came to the city. That's a technology device helped Dothan police locate a stolen car and make an arrest. One Star Activation notified police. I know a lot of the kids, they love the snakes, but did you? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> With his ponytail yeah. blowing in the wind. <laughs> yeah. In your own backyard. But that's how Gerard Middle School's principal is reaching out to parents. $100 for soup, because mm -hmm. that's someone who I need to meet. Let, let me tell you who it is. You. <laughs> <laughs> no. Enterprise residents were enjoying a different type of fare. The City of Progress hosted its annual to air pollution can grow up with weaker lungs. Researchers in Sweden found kids who spend their over the past few years. School districts have begun looking for better ways to keep their students safe and injury free. And the unusual nature of these lights led to an accident for an elderly Illinois woman. Foreman has been adding a lot of snow stories to our newscast, if you haven't noticed, Chris, I think he's trying to give you a hint. Uh, Starting March 4th, CSX will begin a major cross tie replacement project on tracks that run through Jackson, Washington, and Holmes counties. A young boy to the hospital Monday afternoon. Now, it happened just before 5 p.m. on County Road 30A near Patina Boulevard. Four recounts will soon be front and center on soda machines in Chicago. The Windy City is teaming up with major soda makers to offer more low-calorie drinks and vending machines. To the top of the hour, and here's what's making headlines across the world. Well, a rocket fired from the Gaza Strip landed in southern Israel Tuesday, breaking a months-old ceasefire in the region. The rocket landed about 15 kilometers from Gaza. The investigation is still ongoing, and of course, we'll have more details for you as they become available. And October is proving to be a busy month for Dothan police. In the past two weeks, they've responded to a large amount of car break-ins.